Hello, good morning. This is Hello, good morning. This is Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, and welcome to What Young Americans Need to Know. Today I am very divided. I do not know if I give good news or bad news or bad news and good news. Uh, 2020 is definitely the most crazy year of all times, probably. Uh, but as I'm wearing here, I live in Dublin, Ireland, and it has been a very crazy place to be. And for what reason? All the big tech companies, the big pharma companies and the big uh, financial companies, uh, maybe that one less, uh, but tech and pharma, they're based in Dublin and in a very strange way. So today I have this um, news about four CEOs of huge tech companies are testifying before Congress. And I, so Amazon, Apple, Google, and Facebook. So it cost me a lot to really find news about it because obviously if you want to see the news and because I, I, I heard it on TV and I'm like, okay, let me check uh, on my computer, you know, like, so you use all the search engines and all the search engines, they keep driving you to uh, four day old news. They were like from Mark Zuckerberg, something that happened like four days ago. And I know I want to know what happened like today, yesterday. They were there, but it were catchy to find. There's a lot of distractions. So, and I managed to really find some articles where I at least had the names of the, the four companies. Okay. And then, uh, okay. And the most crazy part is that I work with an online but I'm business myself, but I'm a small business and I have a lot of problems. Number one problem is that the internet opens the doors to you, several doors to you, but leave all these doors open so as a small business you just can't work because you open those doors but then anybody else just go there and and steals all the results and everything but not the tech giants okay because they're like everywhere so their business is very protected because okay anybody else is not so i have a lot a long story and a lot of problems with the with the with the the digital word i have in a police report that says that my problems happen in the cyberspace that's if you go through my channel you're going to see there it's a lot of uh, a lot of digital problems related to me okay as me as a victim okay as the plaintiff of a lot of lawsuits but i can't go anywhere because i do not have one billion dollar cash flows as amazon apple google and facebook do okay so Okay, so after all this investigation, I finally saw something. Oh, so the trial uh, or the their, their testimony happened already. That was yesterday, actually. So you, I do find it is in a very poor quality video. Uh, it lasts like five hours. It's it's edited. Some parts of the video they're cut, uh, but they go there and you have all these um, answerings and it's and it's a very strong uh, like. Um, dispute like in there they are, they are uh, being accused of criminal acts and and there is like it's a congress it's a testimony uh in congress so it's it's a very 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 important news but you need to really find it you know it's not going to be shown to you all the news is all about coronavirus obviously in my researches there were like dozens of coronavirus and virus stories so it is a crazy year but it's a good time uh, maybe to celebrate that american people are doing something um i believe it's also an american obligation because all these companies they come from the usa and at the end the usa uh, created this giant which is something else that i'd like to talk about which is uh the all these uh, businesses uh, in the USA, a lot of times uh, you have this marketing thing about um, you need to create a necessity, then you sell the necessity to people. Uh, somebody who has studied marketing, uh, you know that uh, that um, story about the guy that went to an island and he wanted to sell shoes and then he said, oh, but nobody here uh, wears shoes and then so there's no market then somebody else said no no there is a market we need to create a necessity so they start wearing shoes and then they will buy my shoes okay so that's what happened with digital media and social media i love all that i love the technologies and everything but still not a necessity a necessity was created and now it's a necessity now we need social media to survive but 
but uh, it wasn't like that. I tell you, like 20 years ago, uh, I'm 44 and I would not be a happy person. And I, I definitely never, ever thought that I needed a cell phone. Actually, the first time I saw somebody texting on a on a restaurant, on a bar, I think it was, I didn't like it. I thought, that sounds so stupid. Why why, why will you come to a bar if you're going to be chatting on your phone? You know, like I found that's really stupid but now that's how you do so so uh so then american created this whole thing and now everybody's trapped and also uh, everybody talks about ecology like uh social media is not really that ecological because they have the lithium batteries for example which is not really ecological there's a lot of every cell phone has a battery you know like so it's more plastics more cables it's more wires you know so it's not so i hope What's happening now in the USA with these uh, trials, these constant trials against the tech companies, all that, maybe we're bringing things back to civilization, that things need to be more uh, normalized and regularized. Uh, I am a big fighter for the regulations uh, on the cyberspace. Uh, it's nothing against particular the, the, the businessman and this, this companies itself. It's the whole thing for me is out of control. Me as a marketing man, I do not believe that digital media is that efficient i think it's more pollution is more confusion is the results of minimal minimal and it sacrifices like classic marketing strategies that they're way more efficient and they're way more happier okay because there's nothing happier than real life and real world and seeing your customers face to face okay so just stop advertising that it's the same it's not the same it does work today i was talking to a friend who works in marketing too that he went to uh, digital uh, presentation of a winery, for example, and I was like, w I like that because at some point, if you do, if you can travel, it it does have a function. I have a friend that she does uh, online parties, and I've been to a couple of them. They are very good. Uh, you, you you do this online uh, interaction with all the other guests simultaneously. And uh, and the party sends you like a kit with with a food, with a drink, and things. So so I'll deliver to your home. So you, you connect the phone, and then you have all the food, and everybody everybody uh, sings happy birthday together. And you know, and she blows a candle, everybody together. So like so the, the whole thing. It is nice. I think it's going to be a space for that. All these new technologies are welcome, but not the way as they are being doing nowadays it's just going way too crazy i blame it a bit on this american marketing thing that creating necessity and drive if everybody asks me one of the reasons that i left the usa that i live in europe now is because uh the usa they go so intense on all these uh, technologies and stuff that from overseas, we see all these lots of things going on in the USA, but once you are in the USA, you don't have that feeling because everything's online. So you be, you, you're not going to be seeing your friends much as it used to be in the USA not that long ago. Uh, Las Vegas is an example, okay? You go there, all those palaces, you know, those castles, you know, like big buildings and casinos. like. But this trip is all like that. It's not the same, okay? There's all these billboards. It's all online. You book online. You you do self-checking, you know? like. And at the end, it's like, why do you need to be in the USA if all you're going to be doing is chatting to people online? And uh, usually Americans are not even picking up their calls anymore. You know, it's all text messages. And so it's really not not, not a happy world. And so I hope that's good news. And uh, also, um, what's his name? Matt Gitz. Uh, he's a, a congressman for Florida. He's doing a very good job. Uh, he's... Um, launching criminal uh, investigation against Mark Zuckerberg. Look, I, I have my lawsuits as well. Uh, again, I do not go personal against anything, anybody. Like, I believe there's a, 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 there's a lot of things out of control. But I do have all my cases. That are, it's a very large list. And I'm waiting also for funding myself on my lawsuits. And they a lot of them, they do relate to social media. And... Uh, but then uh, my questions is more against the government. So my problems is with the government. It's like how come the government allowed these things to happen? How come the government is taking so long to fix these problems? We are normal, irregular citizens, okay, and business owners. And also, I keep the faith of the on the USA because USA is our 
symbol of democracy, is our symbol of freedom, is our symbol of fraternity and equality. So we need to really try to preserve America as much as we can all over the world. You know, they are the big anchor that helps the whole world not to go back to the dark ages. So these examples uh, today of congressmen fighting for our rights is a very good example. And uh, I, I'm very excited and hopefully 2020 will end with good news for everybody, despite the, the pandemic virus and all that, because there's a lot of problems going on and they're not they're, They come from before the crisis. So, so welcome uh, to our channel. Keep watching us, following all the our episodes, a lot of things going on. And thank you. Thank you. Like, uh, God bless America. <laughs> All right. Cheers.